Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly turn your artwork in Illustrator into a perspective view. So I was working on this artwork for an animation of a client of mine, and I had to make this um, these kind of buttons and all this UI stuff on the sides of this like spaceship interior. And here is the um, the guy sitting in a spaceship, and you see that this this stuff is looking nice and perspective here, going into the distance, getting smaller at the end and bigger here at front. And if I have to do this manually, it would take me hours of work, but I have done this in like one minute. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. Maybe you already know of this tool, but it, I, you know, it's just a, a great thing uh, to use. So I've made this other composition here. You can see the example I've made. I'm going to delete that. And this is the artwork that I'm going to place on here. So first off, you need to create this just flat on um, like this. This is really easy to create because you don't have to worry about perspective or anything. Just create the stuff that you would like in the shape you would like. And then we're going to use one quick, easy and little tool to place this onto this shape here. So I want this um, UI elements, all of this stuff uh, perfectly in this shape here. So just place it over here. Uh, and then on the left side of your uh, window here, you have the free transform tool. You can click on that and then you have this little window popping up. And we have four options and the bottom one here is called free distort. So I'm going to use that. And just I'm going to click on these uh, buttons on these corners here and just drag them to the sides. And you can see the artwork is kind of moving with me. And then just place them here on the corners. And you are done, just like that. That's it. So you can scale this green thing up a bit so it's nicely in there and you are done. So yeah, <laughs> easy as that. Uh, I will show you a bit more of this tool. So click on this and go to your free transform. And we have three other options here. So this one is called perspective distort. So click on that. And then if you select a corner and drag it, it will keep that side in perspective like that. And then this third button here, it's free transform. So you click that. So you can just grab a corner here and click on it and just free transform it, whatever, however you like, like that. And with this one, it constrains the proportion. So if you just click on it and drag, it keeps it in the same, uh, the same shape, just makes it bigger or smaller. So that's really it. It's really easy to use like this. Um, what I do also here is go into this group now, and these are just the same shapes you've created before. Nothing has changed about it. It's just, you know, they just moved the anchor points. So if I want to make this stuff kind of 3D, I can. Let's just get this button here. I'm going to drag this up by holding Option and Shift to uh, drag it up. And then we're going to make this blue. And then let's create some new walls here for this little button. And then this one can go over here. Let's make it a bit darker. And there you go, there you have a 3D button. And you can do that with all of these things, of course. As you can see on this example here, uh, as you can see here on this side, uh, all of these um, things have a bit of depth, so they look better. No, it's really small, um, but just the details matter. So that's a really quick and easy way to uh, distort your uh, uh, artwork and make it like nice and perspective like this. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. If you'd like this video, please give it a thumbs up or even consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.